Welcome to Staff Gymnasium for Brockton's finale. I am Chris Bizzo, commentating solo for this one. We have the 11-8 boxers in white and the 10-10 Wildcats in black, Western Wildcats. And here's the tip off, Sunny Okanlola, quickly stolen by Weston. And that is Dana Williams. We got a traveling violation against Weston. Brockton came into this one with a, a one point loss against Wachusett earlier this week. Looking to rebound from that loss. Nice swing and nice ball movement by Brockton. And Miranda travels. Two, consistent tra two consecutive travels by both teams. by Zenon Carrera. Now here's Todd Robinson on the break. Miranda with the shot. It's good. Three points for Marquise Miranda. The first basket of the game. That'll be Weston's ball. Backcourt violation. Miranda with another three. That one's rebounded by Clay Mullen.
Well defended by Marquise Miranda. Now here's Sunny Okanlola running the break. There's Robinson for three. Another well defended possession by the boxers. Here's Okanlola. He's fouled. Okanlola will get to the line. Makes the first one. Two for two from the line. Okanola, the senior, looking, looking to check back, looking to um, rebound from last year's bad tournament loss against against Mansfield, as Brockton made it all the way to the semifinal but lost to Mansfield, as Weston scored a bucket. And we got the and we got the MIA, MIAA. Um, Playoff seedings coming out tomorrow. As Zenon Carrera scores in the paint. Bowen says this game should be a tune-up game for the tournament, sort of warm up Brockton for the tournament. Here's Miranda for his third three of the game. Fell short. Yeah, that pass by Okanola, a little bit too far off for, Mir for Miranda. Marquise Miranda has been the, the most active player in this game so far. I believe the shot was blocked by Zendikar. Now here's Todd Robinson. I'll take it for the layup. It is 9-2 boxers. Oh, we got a foul against Okanola. There's a three by Weston, no good. Rebounded by Diamond Blakely, who just checked in. Trent Biddle, shot is blocked. Jason Starks for three, he's off. Tajan Silva gets the and one. Tasia Silva will get to the line. Tasia Silva, the junior on this team. 6'3 forward. This is the free throw. Going Weston's way. Weston, no good. 
Nice rebound by Jason Starks. Now his heart, now his diamond Blakely. Zaya Davis double dribbles. Had the right decision, but not, not, not the right outcome. Stolen by Josiah Davis. There he goes. He blocked. It, no, it's a foul. Aggressive, aggressive take by uh, Josiah Davis. Josiah Davis goes two for two from the line as Brockton has an 11 point lead with about 22 28 to go in the first quarter. 13 to 2. Careless basketball by Weston, and that's going Brockton's way. Brockton, Brockton playing pretty good basketball right now, pretty commanding basketball. By Kim Nichols, gets the deuce in the paint. Timeout called by Weston. With 1.57 left in the first. And all, and all, around, and all around effort by Brockman so far in this first quarter as we've seen most of the players check in. Brockton has been pretty aggressive on the offensive end, taking, taking, taking nice shots, taking open shots. It's setting up on the defensive side too, getting some steals, and, and they're playing, they're playing intelligent basketball so far. This, these Brockton boxers. against by Kim Nichols. As we used to see Soya Mahu to the line. Zaya Davis fast on the break. Jason Starks for three. Nice shot. Nice decision by Josiah Starks. Finding the shooter, Jason, Star Jason Starks in the left corner. Nice way to get a hand up by Jason Starks. Oh. 
We got a foul against Dana Williams. The sophomore, the sophomore guard for Weston is Brockton on the break. Diamond Blakely for three. Nichols, power move by Nichols. Here's a, here's a trap by Brockton. Traveling call. It's going Brockton away. It's going 20 to 2 lead for Brockton so far. Tajan Silva for three. Silva gets the layup in the paint. We got 10 seconds left. And Dana Williams travels. And Jason Starks could get the half court shot. Ooh. No foul was called. Wow, the Brockton boxers just have been are just blowing out the Western Wildcats right now in a blowout, 22 to two. Their defense has been their defense has been great defending defending Weston on on almost every shot that we get. They're causing they're causing they're causing outstanding turnovers. Yeah, Brockton just needs to do this for the for the final three quarters and they can get themselves a W. We got a smaller showing here at Staff Gymnasium for the final game of the season. As Brockton got the has a 20 point lead. And Coach Bone will, will go with Trenton Biddle, Todd Robinson, Zenny Carrera, Zenny, Sonny Okenlola, Marquise, Marquise DeSantos to start the second quarter. Second, second quarter action begins. Junior Oga misses the layup. Trenton Biddle. Nice shot by Biddle. Rebounded by Zendikari. Another great defensive stop by the boxers. And Biddle will take himself an offensive rebound for Zendikari. Okamola with the spin, and he gets it. A three by Weston. That one's good. The Santos on the drive. He'll take the jump shot. It's good. Wasn't head coach right now is really furious at his 
at his young boys. And has every has, has everything has every reason right to be. With a 23 point lead by Brockton. And Brockton just playing well right now. Oakland Lola with the body. It's good. Brockton's getting any everything they want in the paint right now. They're just muscling these Western Wildcats. Uga for three. Way off. And here's Zenit Carrera. And it's blocked by Uga. Dana Williams bounces the basketball. And no. Oh no, it'll stay Wesson's way. Nice 2-3 nice zone defense by the boxers. Blocked by Okamola. Noah Olawu checks in. Zanya Carrera gets fouled with the shooting foul. He'll go to the line. Misses the first. Misses both at the line. Shot. No good. Well defended by Carrera. That was Noah Olawu by himself. 2 1 break. Marquise DeSantos gets the bucket. Marquise DeSantos with five points so far in this evening. Playing great today. This is one of his better this is one of his better outings so far early. Better outing so far in the season so far early. Ball is out of bounds. Marquise Miranda wasn't able to connect on the pass. Wow, what a block! By Inabung Ekpe, wow. Ooh, bad decision there. Dana Williams draws the foul. Yeah, this box, the boxes have just been shutting down the Western Wildcats offense. As he misses the first one. Foul.
makes the first one. Makes all three from the line. Another turnover by Weston. Wow, they're just playing careless basketball right now. Kim Nichols with the basket. Number 32, who, who, who shot those three, who made in all those three free throws, was actually from the JV team, who was just promoted for, for the varsity team. A good addition, especially headed into the playoffs. Starks for three. Olowu in the paint. Starks another three. And the, and the Brockton Boxers defense has just been forcing the Western Wildcats to shoot outside the entire game and they just can't connect on their, in their long range shots. And Starks, another three. Ekpe. Tajan Silva checks in for Jason Starks. Shot by number 32. The JV kids certainly do a good job, certainly doing a good job early, early on. A three from Weston. That's good. That is Soya Ma Soya Mahu. Mahu. That'll be a backcourt violation against Brockton. Tajan Silver on the break, scores. Tajan now has six points. We got coming in on 10 seconds. Shot clock turned off. Another three from Weston. Another miss. Tajan for three. Buzzer beater. Tajan has nine. It is a 45 to nine lead by the Brockton Boxers. Just a dominating performance by Brockton. I guess a Western team that's not even fulfilling their expectations right now as they match up Brockton pretty well. Yeah, the, boxers, the boxers are just clicking on all cylinders. Coach Bowen, Coach Bowen making the right decisions. And they'll head into, the, as the boys will head into the lockers. And that is it. We'll, we'll get back to you in the second half.
Yo, are you following this group text? No, what are they saying? Katie keeps sending Adam memes over and over, and Adam's responding with the funniest captions. Can I see? Nah, dude, you're driving. I'm the PT this time, remember? Yeah. <laughs> there they go again. Why do you need both our phones? Why can't you just reply with yours? I need to be fake Neil. Well, real Neil's beginning to feel a little left out. Wow, these memes are really funny, guys. They are indeed, Keegan, but not as funny as the jokes you make. I don't sound like that. No, you have a point there, Neil. I especially love to make jokes about you. Okay, all right, this is getting a little out of hand. I've got this group texting a lot. I just want to know what they're saying, okay? One word. You feel the FOMO hard now, don't you? Yeah. Here, man, tell me a good joke. I'll do it for you, make it seem like you did it. Okay. What does a nosy pepper do? What does a nosy pepper do? Question mark. Get jalapeno business! That's my best joke. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen, we are back here at Staff Gymnasium. As Brockman with a commanding 45 to 9 lead. This is a lead they just can't slip away. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're just playing. They're just playing smart basketball. They're making all their shots, most of their shots. They're scoring. They're scoring mostly in the paint. And here comes the second half. Twenty-one. 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 Get off. Okay, Lola. Fresh 30 for Brockton. His biddle for three. No good. Rebounded by Oaken Lola. Oaken Lola will run the break. Miranda for three. It's good. Marquise Miranda is really having a, a great basketball game so far. Junior, go! Eight points. Played played most of the entirety, played close to the entirety of the game so far. It is now a 48 to 9 lead for Brockton with about 6.53 to go in the third quarter. A nice, a nice mid range jumper by Brian Hall. From the Wildcats. Oaken Lolo will get his in the paint. Oaken Lolo has eight. Yeah the, yeah, the yeah, the Brockton boxers have just, have just been playing very unselfish, unselfish so far. As we have just numerous numerous players with with baskets, they're just playing they're just playing smart team basketball. It's really it's really good to see this from the Brockton boxers. It's been sort of a a rocky season so far for the Brockton boxers. They expected better. And they're ready just to take on the next challenge, which is, which which should be the playoffs, which is the playoffs. So you mean who gets the basket? Okay, Lola fights for it. Better will take the floater. He'll get it. Uh, 
And that is Trenton Biddle's second basket of the game. 52 to 13 lead for Brockton. That's Todd Robinson. Okay, Lola. Nice dish by Robinson. Uga for three. Nice lay by Trenton Biddle. Brian Hall gets to the basket. Miranda for three again. Zenda Carrera wasn't wasn't there to get to block, wasn't was a bit too late for the block. It is now 56 to 18 lead for Brockton with four minutes left in the third quarter. Battle for three. Nice read, nice decision by Mar Marquise Miranda. Battle, Battle will take it baseline. That is intercepted by Weston. As Weston took it, coast to coast. Oh, Zenda Carrera travels. Foul against Viking Nichols. Yeah. Makes the first one. Tajan Silva gets the second one, sec gets the rebound. Another turnover from Brockton. A foul against Brockton. Boston Celtics take on the Milwaukee Bucks in a primetime game. Milwaukee's first in the East, and that, and that should be a good one in the NBA. Nice swing by Brockton. Jason starts for three. Air balls. Noah, Noah, Egal, done. Now Weston's been aggressive and and taking it to the basket. A 
56-24 game now. Brockton lead. Fifty-six twenty-five. Wesson has reduced the lead to thirty-one. Diamond Blakely for three. Another turnover by another turnover by Weston. As the momentum really shifted Weston's way a bit, that'll 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 shut them down a bit. Like him Nichols in the paint, he'll bat. Ooh. He'll go to the line. How's that getting in, Weston? How's that getting in? Dark side. Like him, this is the first. This is both. That'll remain Brockton's way. Josiah Davis will take the shot. Jason starts for three. Nice shot by Jason. The second three ball of the game. It is now 59-25 Brockton with about 140 left in the third quarter. A three by Weston. That'll, that'll, that'll fall. Tasia Silver wasn't wasn't able to get there in time. Jason starts for three, another three. Won't make it that time. Ooh, bad decision by Josiah Davis. Here's Davis, Diamond Blakely on the break. We'll get the deuce. Blakely's first. Blakely's now on the board. It is now 61-28. Brockton. Stolen by Tajian. And Silva gets the layup. Another steal by Tajian Silva. Okay. Another, another basket. Tajan Silver with a couple of pickpockets. Weston misses the layup. Blakely. Silva again. Third quarter ended with just a series of baskets by Tajan Silva from defense to offense. Great, great way to great way to close the second, great, great way to close the third quarter. Tajan now has 15 in on the game. Wow, this this is this is just an all around this is just a a great performance by the Brockton boxers. Certainly what certainly what's expected out of Coach Bowen from his from his young from his young from his, from his young ball club.
as this one's a blow. A bit. This one's a bit of a. This one's a bit of a quiet one here at Staff Gymnasium in Brockton. A smaller, a smaller attending audience. But here's the fourth quarter underway. Brockton about eight, mini, eight minutes from a victory, from the 12th victory of the season. Re rebounded by Benilson Xavier, the man who was just promoted from the JV team. Has six baskets, has six points tonight. Blakely with the mid-range. That one's going the other way. A foul on, on Ekpe. A mid-range shot by Weston. And Xavier with a deep three. Rebounded by Nichols. Wow. And Nichols is having a, a great a great ball game tonight. The coach really wanted him in against a, a much more inferior Weston team. Another three by Weston, and that one's an air ball off right. Oh, save. Here's Diamond Blakely the other way. He stepped out of bounds. Six twenty-eight to go in, in the last quarter. A 69-30 lead by the boxers. Brockton playing very fluid and efficient today. This is one of their best performances I've, I've been doing with the broadcasting. Good ball movement by Brockton. Ekpe in the paint. He misses, gets, gets the ball back. Diamond Blakely misses the difficult floater. Now it's going the Wildcats way. Here's the Wildcats. Now one, now one, now one, that one's a three by the Wildcats. Then those in Xavier for three. Ekpe. He'll go to the line. Looking for his first points in the evening. FK. FK gets his first basket. Ekpe has have Ekpe is having a pretty good pretty good evening so far. Been pretty active. Hustled for a, some rebounds as he missed the second free throw. He's get, certainly getting his minutes worth tonight. Olawu with the three. It is now 70 to 33, Brockton. With about five minutes to go. Double team. Nichols misses the nice dish 
from Josiah Davis. Mid-range jumper from that was that was Noah Igel done. 35 point lead for Brockton, 70 to 35. Xavier for three. Heavy rebound by Nichols. Yes. Nichols, man. If, if he could just do this in the playoffs, muscle those, muscle those other, muscle the other opponents, man. I don't see Brockton losing. It'll be tough to beat us if he continues to, continues to do that. Ekpe with the heavy rebound. Xavier. Josiah Davis goes to the line with a bit of an acrobatic layup. Draws the foul. Josiah Davis, the senior, really hoping really hoping to to make it all the way for Brockton in this one in his last and his last and his last hurrah here at Brockton High. Misses the first free throw. Gets the second. Another rebound by Ekpe as Davis. Noah Oluwu wasn't able to handle it. Yeah, playoff seedings out tomorrow from the MIAA. Stolen by Nichols. Brockton certainly hoping to make it all the way. And there's Oluwu for three. He'll get it. Oluwu's, Oluwu's first three points of the game. Nice shifting defense by the boxer. Stolen by Vanilton Xavier. Careless basketball from Weston. Bill Nilton misses the layup. Contested by. That one's a foul against Noel Lulu. Yeah, Brockton's, Brockton's, Brockton should be on the road throughout the MIAA tournament. So it's gonna be so it's gonna be more of a tougher test. But let's see, but, but let's see how they do. Another three from Weston. That one's an air ball. There's Ekpe. Josiah Davis, patient with the basketball. Makes his move, spins, misses. Josiah was probably a bit too patient on that one. One minute left in. And here's Josiah Davis. Davis. Misses. Davis baseline. Nichols. That's good. Viking Nichols now has 12 points in this one. Moving. 
27 seconds here as this one's a bit this one's wrapping up. Brockton should advance to 12 and 8. Weston will fall to 10 and 11. Noah Olawu will dribble the final five seconds out. And that's a wrap. And that's a wrap. Brockton with a dominating victory, 78 to 35. With honestly, just no mistakes from the Brockton boxers. This is a good way to close out the season. By Kim Nichols, Sonny Okanola, and Tasia Silver with the high men. Scoring in the double figures. And that is and that is it. It is, it is tournament. It is, it is tournament action now. Let's we'll see what the Brockton box has got. For everyone, that is Chris. I am Chris Bazil commentating solo. And have a good night. A dominating victory from Brockton.